are here for the six star gameplay of Kevin Owens just keep fighting and he is a chaotic striker it's like the training abilities baby all the way at 26k purple moves that deal damage will deal a hundred percent more damage purple moves start with two more move points already Hall of Fame Nash is nodding in agreement already trickster big show says my brother in arms it's about bloody time we got a purple move damage trainer at least the one davidy knows about links raw links modern era links he don't need no gear he keeps fighting for gear why does this freeze whenever i open the poster but this dude is like hella shiny look at this here hella shiny dude he look like one of them um dudes from grease lightning what do, what do you call them man i forget what you call them that, that gimmick that deuce and dominoes had I right, moves finisher stunner deal about 170k damage and make 28 immobile gems into green gems and pin the opponent color submission choose 10 gems to make in a black submission gems and do 171k damage for three turns while submission gems are on the board remaining subs turn into power gems of ooh of strength 53,600 avalanche swinging Fisherman Buster, deal about 70k damage and choose two gems to make into two turn juggernaut gems that will increase your black MP by four on every count on turn and modify a two by seven random area into a mobile gems at the end of the countdown. Cannonball, deal about 134k damage and swap a three by seven random area into blue gems. Springboard Moonsault, deal about 224k damage and increase owner's tie countdown by minus three turns and gain six black mp so <clears throat> in showdown this would be ideal you just hit that and we just tag in your partner but it'd be it'd be hard to have six mp on turn one in showdown being honest that's probably like for i don't know but it'll be hard that's what she said uh swanton bomb deal about 134k damage plus 29 about 29k bonus damage for every immobile gem Super kick, who do you? That's almost half a mil, half a mil damage and force your opponent to skip for two turns, and then finally pop up power bomb, deal about 135k damage and increase the strength of your power gems by 71. Jeez, by about call it about 72k. Uh, there's a lot to take in here, a lot of builds. Especially he's a striker. So many power gems and immobile gems. So uh, let's get into these things, man. We're about to be all kinds of disrespectful with this skip turn for two turns, man. Uh, skip turn, then we're going to put out juggernaut gems that increase our black MP by four on every turn. And makes a random two by seven area into immobile gems. Then we're going to hit the finisher, which makes immobile gems into green gems. But the trainers are the real meat and potatoes. We got Woods, start a four more black MP with max perks that skip turn is ready to go turn one. Oscar black finishers do 150% damage. Leader black finishers do 50% damage. So that's 200% damage. Uh, if you're gonna run him with um, medals, I would do double takedown twos with uh, priority on black percentage, 200% black move damage. Hall of Fame Teddy, black moves do 25% more damage. So the finisher is like over half a mil from originally, not even 200k. So you're doing half a mil there. We're doing more. We're doing, do, we're doing half a mil in a piece. And over here we're doing, for, it's, it's, it's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be delicious. First things first, we're gonna set the move. We're gonna stun that boy. Uh, what, what Dominic running? This is a six star Dominic. He is running uh, double, well, one armor, one, one set of fury. Uh, no black matches, but that's okay because the juggernaut gems will give us black gems. What you uh, will try to do is prioritize matching green if you have it. So you can put those out again. Look at this, man. Look, look at this, man. Uh, I am not going to hit the finisher yet because I want four rows of 
immobile gems. So when I hit the finisher, it can be a bit beefy. Oh, look, look at this man. How many, how many turns is boy stunned for? There we go, now I can hit the finisher. How many, boy, how many turns is this boy stunned for? I'm not gonna put down my, should I? Cause there's the danger that if I put them out, they're gonna get covered up. And that's gonna screw everything up. But all right, let's go. Hit the finish, boing, hit the finisher. Count how many turns we're gonna take. That's the pin. All right, he skipped for four turns. So that was turn one. We did about three mil damage on turn one. We have a green match, lovely. Prioritize matching green since the Juggernaut Gems will give you black. Green match, yes. Skip a boing, skip a dip. Skip a dip from my whip. Ugh. Also, uh, I play it kind of dangerously by putting uh, all of the Juggernaut Gems in the same column, but I've found more often than not when the Juggernaut Gems fire off, they tend to favor other columns that don't have the Juggernaut Gems. So like 90% of the time that works for me, we will see if that is still the truth or if it shall make me a liar. Skip is ready to go. Gems are ready to fire off again. Burr, boing, burr. What happened to that boy? Somebody bust a shot and put a clap into that boy. Uh, yes. Don't mind if I do. That was like, what, two mil or so? Put it down to Charlie Brown. Mm hmm see, they, they're not going for this column. They're not, they're just not. Skip that boy, skip that boy again. And again, if I had double take down two medals, this process would be expedited. He would be dying a lot quicker. I repeat, a lot quicker. Skip for six turns. We're just being disrespectful at this point. We're doing it because we can, not because we love it. <laughs> That's the difference. That's the difference. You do this because you love it. I do this because I can. To let you know I'm a big, bad bully. Davey D, you're a bully. I know. Skip that boy. We're gonna hit these, these on the road again. I lost, I, I wasn't paying attention to how many turns. So this is not a real world demonstrations of how many turns it would take. With double takedown medals, it would be done a lot sooner. But again, uh, this is your boy Davey D, AKA Mr. Rod Dogathy. I should start making merch. Rod Dogathy. Rod Dogget. Rod Dogathy done. Don't hear me doing. <laughs> Between bong, boing, and ding dong. Mr. Raw Dog a ding dong. Come on, baby boy. I think it's two more turns. I got like like two more finishers in me before he's dead. And as you can see, I have lost zero health. Zero health. He has yet to play. He don't even know what it feels like to be in the game. He don't even know what it feels like to be in the game, though. He don't know, 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 he doesn't know. I apologize that this is taking so long. Oh, come on, dog. Shenanigans and tomfoolery. Shenanigans, tomfoolery, and chicanery. But that's okay. He not kicking out of this, though. He, boy, he not kicking out of this, though. Maybe I should show you that build again this time with, uh, oh my God, I, I lied to you. I lied to you, my brethren. I lied to you. We're gonna do a version of this build with damage for every immobile gem and see how that goes. He not kicking out of this now, like sincerely. Respectfully, he's not kicking out of this. Respectfully, he's not kicking out of this. There we go. It only took 46 turns, but uh, 
We got it done. We got it done. Hey baby, what's going on? This is Davy D, you know the vibes. And if you're feeling what I'm dealing, then just go ahead and subscribe. Same build, but we have replaced black move damage for immobile gems. Uh, Rocky Maivia immobile gems do 35% more damage. Eddie Guerrero immobile gems do 50% more damage, so that's 85% more damage. Uh, Liv Morgan immobile gems do 2200 flat uh, gem damage. So let's look at what that looks like in the game. As usual, Stun just for fun. Uh, put down these Juggernauts. There's no green gem matches, unfortunately. Don't really need to match black because that's where the Juggernaut gems come in. Let's be sure to stun this guy one, one more time. One more time. Don't want to match black. I probably do for this guy. Immobile gems fire off. All right, so one regular green gem is six. That's disgusting. At six star bronze, 6K, immobile gem is 17K. This this damage is still disrespectful. Let's look at his, yeah, he's doing like half. He's taking half of what I should be doing. That's disrespectful as hell. All right, any guards, I'm not gonna make you stay here for all the turns. I'm gonna just hit a couple turns and see what that damage looked like. If it's, it's not even comparable to the, to the move damage build, honestly. I'm gonna hit three more turns and then I'm gonna go on to another build. Just so y'all can see what I see. I'm a little parched. Maybe I should get water. All right, the finish is ready to go, but I'm not. I'm ready to go, but I'm boring, but I'm not. Skip for two turns. The words of Usher, let it burn. He's at 10 million health. Hit my finisher, how much help, hey, help, help will he be at? After the fact, Cascados included, barely, barely took down a mill. So that's that's that. I'm not gonna hold you. Let's look into another build. So we kept the same trainers, but we replaced the finisher with the Swanton Bomb, which deals damage for every immobile gem. So we see it starts off here with like almost 30K. And then with the trainers included, it goes up to almost 60K which I don't understand why it isn't even more than that because it's 50% more damage. I don't know the math, but I feel like it should be more than that from 30K. Call, call me, call me not big proper Brian because I don't know math, but I feel it should be more than that. But anyway, with that, you'll probably want to run like Sheik Play to do more damage when you hit the green moves, let it stack over time. Uh, double Fury 2s, that's what comes to mind. So let's get into it. All right, as per usual, we start out with the stun. And then as per usual, we have zero green gem mat. And this one, it is crucial. We somehow find green gems. You probably want to put a, a, a skill plate that creates green gems when you match gems or gives green MP. The one time we really need green gems and we don't have it. The good thing about it though is uh, we're gonna be able to skip again. Uh, Mr. Davey D. I'm gonna have to, ooh, there we go. I was gonna say, I'm gonna have to do this again with a, a, a skill play. So let's see if all of these immobile gems equate I think if I put put this down, he's gonna cover it with his heal gems. But let's see if all these immobile gems equate to 
the damage I did with the move damage. 1.6 mil. I mean, I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad. Oh, he is? Oh, oh that's what we're doing. Are you stunned for two turns, puppy? I may not be mommy, <laughs> but uh, okay. Boing. Boing, that's what we're doing. Your boy skipped for two turns. Uh -huh. I feel, I feel myself now. I'm feeling myself. I feel myself. I feel him. I feel him. I feel myself. I feel him. He going. Ah, he gonna mash them greens. Dag nabbit DVD. Pay attention, boy. Pay attention, my boy. Boy, my boy. So I feel like this is comp. Oh, this is way better than the 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 move damage one. I was gonna say I feel like it's comparable, but. <clears throat> This is way better than the move damage one in my estimation. Like, you see them thighs? Ugh. If I just had a skill plate that made green. Oh, 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 oh. What the hell? Well, I'm glad that happened. Let that be. What the hell? That's, that's a, oh my, my God. Tell me you, you're cheating without telling me you're cheating, man. What is this? <clears throat> but I was saying that could very well be a risk as well from flooding the board with too many immobile, immobile gems. If there's no moves for you or the computer to make, the game will just completely just dump the board which i feel that there should be a better resolution than dumping the board quite honestly i would maybe make one of the gems n not immobile so you can make a match like dumping the I, I should bring that up dumping the whole board feels cheap there should be some other work around for that i don't know if it would be difficult to code that I don't think it would be just make one of the mobile gems not immobile. I'm not a fan of what just happened because I had the board ready to go. I had the board ready to go. Skip that again. Dominic only had one turn because of chicanery. He dodged my gems. And you no, know, first the board completely cleared itself. Then he dodged my gems. Like, that's some foliosis. That's some foolishness. That's some boing, some foolishness. Oh boy. Listen, you need to stop this now. You're starting to tick me off. You need to relax with this board purging foolishness, man. It's 11.42 p.m. at night. Trying to do grown man things. Y'all trying to give me high blood pressure. Stop it. Watch and see he gonna cover my juggernaut gems. Watch and see. Oh, he left that one. How courteous of you, kind sir. How courteous of you to leave that one bloody gem. Hey, Davey D, skip that fool. Don't mind if I do. Oh, look, we got some green matches. Finally, is. I know for some of you, it's like, this is too many turns. Again, I don't have a strat, which would expedite the process. But it's like, how many of you are gonna have a strat for him ready out the gate anyway? You need to see how he plays in the real world without all the trimmings and all the fancies. But, uh, I'm gonna let it ride for one more turn so I can have some more uh, gems. Uh, hold on. Uh, come on, dog. These five matches always screw me. Always. As I was saying. Uh -huh. This is it. This is, this is Michael Jackson's last tour. This is it. Put that boy down. 
he not he not kicking out of that. He genuinely not kicking out of that. Let me let me match that green if y'all don't mind. If y'all don't come on dog. Don't do this to your boy. Don't purge the board. Put it down. Put it down. I ain't even gonna bother to stun this boy. I ain't even gonna bother to stun this boy. Hey, David D. And this fool. It would have been so hilarious if the board just completely purged just now. Uh, so I'm a fan of that build. I am definitely a fan of that build, but uh, we got some power gem builds coming up. Maybe I should hit y'all with a little tag team game play. She would that tag kinda look like daddy O. Da 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 da. Davey D, you have mental problems. I know. Now we got the power gem setup build. Um. We're gonna make a three by seven area into blue gems, which three by seven, hold on. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's gonna force a pin right out the gate. What is we doing? So maybe instead of going, hold on. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot. Hold on. I'm gonna go with, with, Dang, that's a lot. Three by seven random area into blue. Three, that's 21 gems. All right, bear with me. I, I just I just noticed that. I thought it would have been, I was thinking it was maybe like a three by two or three by four area, but three by seven, nah, dog. Nah, dog. Let me just make sure, yep, yeah, eight charge, eight charge. All right, perfect. So we're gonna start with the sub match uh, black gems to fill up this move. We got, uh, why do I keep doing it the old way? Jared the King, Lala, Blue Moose, start four more move points. Shinsuke, oh, wrong person. I gotta put striker, to, hold on. I, I, I do not know why. Y'all will see the difference is minimal, but every little bit helps. There we go. There we go. It's minimal, but every little bit helps. He does 53% more damage for every power gem. Shinsuke was 50%. Riddle, flat 1300%, flat 1300 damage on power gems. And Alexa Bliss, um, power gems add 25% more damage. Right now, it's not reflected here. Uh, maybe that's visual. We will see when we get in the match. But I was doing this whole thing, raw dog thing, and then <laughs> you know I had to put the strap on for the Foley plate. Whenever you break six or more black gems, make five random gems into power gems of strength 50k. So I fully expect him to drain Dominic's life like it ain't nobody's business. All right, look at all these black gems. All I need to do is to match uh, two. Two to trigger one to trigger the skill plate. So this is six black gems. And then I just gotta put down some blacks somewhere else. Just you know. Does it really matter where I put them? In it. In it. Uh that should be fine. Choke a choke a choke. You can see the, the, the power gems on the board. Choke a choke a choke. Dag nabbit. Unfortunately, he got that one turn move. Uh, all right. So, what does the move say? It does power gems of strength 53,600. How much does this say? Oh, beefy. All right, so we only got one, two, three power gems on the board. Uh, increase it, increase the piece. This is going to suck because this is random. So if it covers any of these, it's like, what are we doing? It's like, what are we doing? <sighs> Dagnabbit. I mean, 
it ain't nothing to write home about. And I'm wondering if maybe, ah, maybe I should do it. Ah, okay. I got an idea. I got an idea. Instead of this black move that makes the block. You know what? Uh, uh, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the move. All right, I believe in this move set so much, I came back in without full health. I replaced that three by seven area with the skip turn move. So uh, I will vamos con Dios. That's one, two, three, four, five, six black gems. You're gonna just you're gonna just sprinkle a helpful serving of black gems around the board. A helpful serving of black gems around the board. Choke that boy, choke that boy. There's no skill plate to give uh, blue MP or blue gems or black MP or black gems because we are fully committed to the Foley plate. I repeat, we are fully committed to the Foley plate. Boing, that boy is skipped for two turns. Gem damage 108. We hit that move, increase the power gem damage. Boing, power gems, ooh, beefy, beefy. Now we just gotta focus on either matching black or matching blue. Hold on, hold on. Boing, skip for two turns. Is there another black to match? No. Oh boy, he skipped for one turn, but there's a blue. I repeat, there's a blue. And my skip turn is ready to go. Hi. Hi. But you see how much life I took down? And that's like in one turn. Can David E. finish Kevin Owens before he himself finish him? <laughs> of course he can, you non-believers. You sick heathens. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here, 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 here. We just, we just, we just covering up heel gems, man. We just, we just being disrespectful with it. Having a good time. You know the vibes. This is David E. Hey, baby, what's going on? This is David E. You know the vibe. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. You know the vibes. And if you're feeling what I'm dealing, baby, just go ahead and subscribe. All right, increase the power of Jim DiMaggio on the road again. Ugh, uh-huh. Look at that, look at that life just drain from the back of his eye. I told you all I believe in this build. This is the build. Forget what you heard. We don't fool with immobile gems now, huh? We don't fool with immobile gems now. We don't fool with three by seven areas, dog. It's all about them power gems. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. You listening, you listening? My ideal characters, either bleeding life or dealing damage with power gems, man. It's my kind of guys. Let's get into this tag team build. Hold on. Hey baby, what's going on? This is Davy D, you know the vibes. And if you're feeling what I'm dealing, then just go ahead and subscribe. We back in the place to be. Raw tag link, Kevin Owens and Dominator Bobby Lashley. No full health because why? Um, Minaj, we're going to keep it true with that triple blue. Uh, reduce the tie counter by three and gain six black MP. Um, I will have to show you another build, including the black MP move, uh, I, which would likely be the stun move. I am thinking, yeah, that, that makes the most sense. But uh, the, the way I keep the same trainers, but the way this is going to work is that when I do my um, color sub, it in turn 
will fill up Bobby's moves so that when I tag Bobby in, see his moves, um, damage for every multiplied gem, choose nine gems to make into multiplied gems, choose a five by five area to destroy. Um, when he gets all the way to six star bronze, I believe that's 65 damn six, is it 45% or 65? I think it's 45% more damage for multiplied gems. But right now he's just doing 20, he's doing 38, he's doing 15, and then it's just a flat 2200 on all gems. So I mean, it's gonna be, let's, let's see how it's gonna be. I don't wanna make any predictions, but if you know, you know. All right, we all filled up. Um, elementary, let us boing. See that? <laughs> that boy ready to come in. That boy ready to come in, but not yet, Bobbernathy. Not yet. We're gonna clip some blue there, so don't mind if I do. One, two, three, four, five, six. Which will put out some um, power gems, which is what we like to see. Okay, okay. Okay, Randy Orton. Okay, Randy Orton. Increase the power gem damage. Boing. Ugh. Don't mind if I do. Let's do like what? Let's see if it carries carries over to when I tag in Bobby though. That's a, a good thing to figure out. It does carry over. Now let's choose nine gems to make an amount of five gems of strength four. I believe he makes a five by five area. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, seven, eight. It's a five by five area. One, two. Is it in it? Damage for every. Uh, sorry, damage for every multiply gem. He's at three million. That boy dead, and he don't even know it yet. That boy dead. He just come back from injury and gotta go back out. That boy dead and he ain't even know it yet, man. This Kevin Owens is a problem. Oh, I wish I could take him into showdown, but we're not allowed. I wish I could take him into showdown and show you the power of Kevin Owens. Ah. So there you have it. Kevin Owens just keep fighting. Again, his training abilities all the way at 26k purple. Oh wait, I didn't show you any videos of that, but eh, you get the idea. Should I? Not in this video, I'll show it, I'll show it in another video. I'll save that for another time. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Owens keep fighting. He's this weekend's contest superstar. I mean, he's, he's very nice. He's very, very nice. Very nice. Just keep fighting. Keep fighting those loot odds and maybe you'll get him. If you want one more look at the moves, what moves falls where. The stun move, which for me is the meat and potatoes. That's the five star move. The increased power gem move is the six star move. I mean, this won't make or break anything, but it's nice to have. Baby boy! Kevin Owens just keep fighting.